In this video help, I'm going to be covering the purchase report by store. Let's go to that report. In the purchase report by store, obviously there'd be a lot more records. This is only uh, test data that's in here right now. But typically on purchase orders, there would be a number of products, in this case by the product, product, the different products, and then by which store actually made the purchase. So this would be the header at the top, then the products for that. Then if there was another store, there would be a new header and all the products that were purchased by that store. You can use the date range right here for date received in order to identify products that were received during a period using a date range or a specific date. If you're coming in here to uh, see what orders are outstanding for receives and uh, or pending orders or something about the RMAs. You can do searches for that using the find. Uh, as you can see in the record, it actually shows the store site that made the order based on the actual sort order. And as I stated, if you had an additional store, there would be a new break with a new store name down here and then all the purchases by that store. Some of the items in here, the product quantity that's being ordered and the product cost for that particular order. Now this will vary depending on which vendor you use and what the price is that they're quoting to you. So you'll see that the prices will change even though the product may not be the same. So you have to be careful uh, when you're looking at this. It's a good way to see what product cost and what vendor actually uh, was used to make the purchase. The way you would do that is go back into the portal and see which vendor was used in order to make the purchase. Uh, there is a, uh, a Additional information in the portal that will support uh, additional data and especially in case of an RMA. So if you see an RMA quantity in here, you'll probably want to review that particular uh, purchase portal record to see the status on it at that time. Uh, the report does not use a summary for the sales. That would be the stored by, uh, by product report, which is a different report. This is simply a way to see what items were ordered by what store at what period, at what date, or what date range was used. If you have any questions as usual, go ahead and either call me on Skype or send me an email. Thank you.